your NorCast weather update. Brought to you by Tennessee Avenue Beer Hall, Bar 32 Chocolate, Cuzzy's Pizzeria, and Rhythm and Spirits. Check out all four great locations for an evening of entertainment and high-quality food. Located on Tennessee Avenue in Atlantic City. And good Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Hope your morning has started off on a great note. Sunshine galore for today. It will be on the warmer side, especially inland. Temperatures will reach probably into the low to mid-80s across most interior portions. Obviously cooler the closer you get to the coastline, but the biggest factor and the biggest key, I think you feel the difference in the temperatures, is the fact that you won't feel the humidity and the mugginess that we dealt with the last couple of days. Monday, we turn more humid. Unfortunately, tomorrow, temperatures reaching near 90, so hopefully any kind of memorials planned for your um, for your town, for our fallen heroes, hopefully it'll be more towards the morning hours, because as you get to the afternoon, it'll be at near 90 degrees, plus tack on that humidity is going to feel even hotter out there, so hopefully your memorials are planned more for the morning hours. The humidity stays with us. Looks like most of this week's going to stay muggy and humid, and on the hotter side, might not reach 90 degrees every single day this week, but that humidity will make it certainly feel like it's much warmer than the actual air temperature is across the air. We'll talk about that in just a few moments. Temperatures across the region itself, you, itself look at this. 65 in Glassboro, 65 in Marlton, a pair of sixes right now in Hamilton, 66 at the state capitol, had that 195 corridor at 65 in Asbury Park, 67 in Tuckerton, and along the shoreline, 62 right now in Lake City. So absolutely gorgeous out there still. I mean, Yes, it's a little bit on the warmer side per se, but you just can't beat this at the end of May with no humidity and seeing temperatures only in the mid-60s around 9 o'clock in the morning. So we'll definitely take it, I think, as we head towards um, more warmer temperatures, unfortunately, more humidity as we enter closer to those summer months. Your exclusive NORCAST hour-by-hour hour forecast for the rest of today, cool like it is, it's going to be sunny and warm. Temperatures reaching, as I mentioned, into the lower 80s. Winds will begin to turn more southerly as we head towards the evening. And overnight, again, that weak warm front will start to push on through here, I think, as we head later on this evening into the overnight and early tomorrow morning. But again, not really going to see much of anything out of this whole thing. Just a few clouds as we head towards the overnight hours tonight on into tomorrow. Tonight, as I mentioned, temperatures dipping back into the low to mid-60s across most of the region. That's some good news out there. Maybe some 50s as you head towards... Uh, interior parts of southeastern parts of Pennsylvania. But other than that, overall, not looking that bad of an evening overall as the winds will be not strong, but the flow will turn more subtly. So it won't be as nice and refreshing as we dealt with last night, but still not bad for the end of May for overnight hours. Tomorrow, we pump it up a pair of eights inland. I think we'll hit the upper 70s to near 80 along the shoreline. But the biggest difference you'll start to notice again is that humidity and that mugginess will begin to increase and make it feel that much more uncomfortable as you head out and about for tomorrow to any of those memorials. Future cast for the rest of today, really nothing to talk about. Maybe a few clouds here and there. As we head towards the evening hours, that warm front will be well to our north, so not going to have to deal with any kind of rain shower activity, just maybe a few clouds. But you'll notice the warm front pushing through, especially tomorrow morning because in the afternoon, because again, we'll start to feel that humidity and that mugginess pushing on in here. Now again, that will last probably a good portion of this week, at least midweek, before we start to see maybe a break as a cold front begins to try to push through here and to next week, at the end of next week. Temperature outlook overall right now, the, looking past mainly into the end of next week on into the weekend, um, we're going to pretty much bot, uh, even out here. So yes, we're going to deal with the heat and humidity in the near term, but then I think as we head to the long term, we're actually going to be at and even below normal, I think, in some instances, especially as we head into next weekend on into the following week, which, you know, June 5th starts uh, Monday. So overall, we're going to get some influence, I guess, of this below normal air that the Great Lakes and the Midwest is going to feel, but uh, at least it'll be nice and refreshing as we get into June. Therefore, we don't have to deal with that humidity after this week. 93 on Tuesday will be the warmest day, I think, this week, especially with that humidity, make it feel like it's over 100 degrees in, in the inland. Wednesday, a few, more cloud, a few more clouds pushing on in here. Temperatures only in the low 80s, but again, it'll feel worse than that because the humidity will be around. Thursday, we're warm as a cold front pushes on through Thursday night on into Friday, dropping our temperatures down as we head into your exclusive NORCAST plus three days. Look at next weekend, 81 on Saturday with lower humidity. And look at Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. Low to mid-70s, the beginning of June. I think we'll take it and less humid. Have a great day, everybody. See you later. Happy lunchtime on your Sunday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark. Probably for most of you heading for lunch today, probably uh, cooking up those barbecues, those ribs, the hamburgers, the hot dogs, the chicken. Yep, it is Memorial Weekend, right? Temperatures right now are on the warmer side. We're starting to